Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another beer review. And in this beer review, looking forward to this, we have got an American double IPA from a brewery I've never heard of. And the cat's just let itself in. I'm just going to shut the door. She's as strange as a cat's my main coon. She comes in when I review beer. Once I stop, she walks out. <laughs> so, the beer. We're talking about Chicago. Off to a brewery called the Hot Butcher of the World. For the world, should I say. And we've got a dipper. And it is a can of their Cosmic Glow. Clocking at 8% ABV. One pint can. Um, it's got Citra, Rakao and Waima. Waima and Mosaic in. Uh, this was last canned on April the 25th this year. This was picked up from the Bear and Bottle for a small mortgage. It's the backside. Believe you me, a small mortgage. <laughs> Got some American uh, beers in. Um, they've flown out of the door. Limited quantity. Flown out of the door. There's <laughs> only about a few left when I went in there. And that was... What was that? Put it on their website. Well, I put it on their Facebook page Thursday evening. Friday dinner time. Nearly all gone. Unbelievable. So, let's just crack this open, shall we? I don't know anything about the brewery. They're based in Chicago. Let's do, let the beer do the talking. That's what I say. I mean, it's going to blow me away. Oh, I think this beer is going to blow me away. I picked up two, a dipper and a tipper, which will come next week. I was going to do the video with um, both of them, but I've got a feeling it might get a little bit messy because the tipper is 10.5%. This is 8%. You know, oh, look at it. Wow, it's pouring creamy. Look at that. What a belt. <laughs> My word. Stick that there. Look at that. I'm just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna describe it to you because that looks absolutely phenomenal. Put it up to the light. It is absolutely phenomenal. I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna even Kind of like um, insult your intelligence and describe it to you. But look at it. Wow. Let's get a whiff. Let's get a whiff. Dank. Straight away. Oh, lots of tropicalness. Lots of tropicalness. For sure. It's a marry of tropical flavours. You can't really pick any defining flavour out. It's just a mishmash of anything tropical. Berries, juiciness, stone fruits, grapefruits, lemons. I'm going to go in. Cheers. Bish bash bosh down the hatch. I may be a while. First question, what comes to my mind with this beer? Is this brewed on this planet? Is anybody on this planet capable of brewing this beer? That is fucking sensational. That is absolutely un unbelievable. I'm going again. When you go in, you get the sense of the alcohol. A slight warmness of the alcohol. But it suddenly develops into flavour. You're getting beautiful, I mean beautiful, gorgeous tropical fruit notes. The thing what is hitting home with me with this beer 
is the mouthfeel. It is light as a feather. That is beyond pillowy soft. This beer feels like it's been brewed in another in another galaxy. It is absolutely phenomenal. I'm going again. soft there's no lingering bitterness when you swallow it it's gone it's dissolved it's gone it's not there anymore it's kind of like you know a moment of magic in your mouth and it's gone it's disappeared it's the genie of the lance disappeared bang <laughs> It is absolutely beautiful. It really is. I mean, it was a mortgage. It cost a mortgage. But the payback is absolutely phenomenal. That mouthfeel is most probably the softest mouthfeel I've ever had from a beer. It's just unbelievably soft. Like I say, you do get the essence of the alcohol on once you first taste it, but now I'm not picking it up. The 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 mouth the the the, the taste is so well intertwined. The fruit notes are so well intertwined. The bitterness is hardly there. It's bordering on fruit smoothiness but it's not you're getting the hoppy notes you're getting the beery elements it's there but my word this is so well brewed so well refined it's an absolute banger this so far is my beer of the year this has blown me away this may be the best dipper I have have I've ever had. I think I know it is. This will blow a rivet into bits. It's this is this is beer from a different like I say, it's it's aliens. Aliens have brewed this beer. This is no human invention, surely. It can't be. <laughs> I'm going to go. Oh my word. Oh my word. Lots of words. Literally lots of words. Never had a beer this good. Never. It's just phenomenal. Boys and girls, I'm close to tears. Maybe not. A little bit speechless for once. For some people, that might be a good thing. This is where I'm. <laughs> Getting to this, this beer is unbelievably good. I've got a tipper next week from them, and I think it's going to be even better. It is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal, speechless, unbelievable. Paul, if you're watching this from the Bear and Bowl, usually I stagger my reviews out, but I've got a feeling I'm going to just stick this straight up because it is... Brilliant. Boys and girls, hot butcher for the world. Cosmic glow. Like cosmic glow. It's already kicking in the alcohol. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. Thank you very much for watching this. Um, that is beer of the gods. See you on my next one. Bib, bib.